I just want to talk boxing a little bit with, with everybody, you know what I mean? Everybody always coming at me, coming at my throat. They say, you know, I ain't fought nobody at the 147-pound division. Uh, yeah. And I just be laughing, you know what I mean? Because everybody, the top welterweights in the divisions, you know what I mean, when, it, when they say they is. Who y'all got this weekend, Danny or Arrow? My take, it's going to be a good fight. You know, you got two talented fighters fighting each other. But let's all be real for one one moment. And everybody talking about they always, you know, they real and they know boxing. Well, let's be real. If you know boxing, why should we consider Danny Garcia a top welterweight in the division? Can somebody tell me that? And, th and that's my boy, you know what I mean? I ain't hating on him or nothing. I just want to hear, you know, from, from the people, you know. I just want to see what what people will, will allude to. Can anybody tell me why Danny Garcia is the top welterweight in the division? Nobody yet. Okay, okay. I ain't mad at Danny. Danny, my boy, man. I'm, I'm cool with Danny. I came up with Danny. I'm just speaking facts now. You know what I mean? I'm speaking facts. Because everybody, you know, always slamming my record, coming at my throat, saying this and that. So I got to give it back sometimes. You know what I mean? Let's be real. Danny ain't beat nobody in the welterweight division. He beat Paulie. Uh, Robert Guerrero. And they, everybody beat them, if you ask me. Uh, so if Earl beats Danny, if I'm saying it's going to be a walk in the park, Danny can fight his ass off. That's why I consider him one of the top welterweights in the division, not taking away his two close decision losses that he has. You know, I got him, you know, up there. But at the same time, if we going by what the media say. He's not a top welterweight. You know, he lost. He did his thing, but he lost. You know, just being honest, we're keeping it real. You know, the two shots that he had, he lost. Now, given Terrence Crawford case, you know what I mean? You can say what you want. I won the fights that I had to win, you know, against the guys that I had to win against. Errol Spence, you know what? He fought Kell Brook. He beat Kell Brook, you know, um, Sean Porter, Sean Porter ain't beat a top welterweight, y'all claim, but in my eyes, Sean Porter didn't fought all the welterweights there is the fight, but Terrence Crawford, um, Sean Porter is another one that, you know, came up short in, the, in, a, in a lot of fights, well, a few fights, uh, but he made him close. You know, Thurman, he fought he fought quite a few welterweights in the division. But when we talking, you know, the number one guy in the division, you know, we got to be talking about Terrence Crawford, man. Moving up, doing my thing. Willing to prove it, too. But this week going to be a tremendous fight, I'm telling y'all. You know what I mean? Danny ain't no pushover. And everybody excited to see how Arrow going to come back. You know, we shall see this week. But let's not, let's not hate on, on my victories and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Every time I fight, everybody got something to say. Prior to the fight, everybody thought I was going to lose. I had people, oh, this is the toughest fight of his career. Kell Brook is so big and strong, and he's going to do this. He's going to – I heard it all. And those same guys, after the fight, had the most excuses, even the writers. The writers said this and said that after the fight, you know. 
Ah, uh, he was washed up. Now he was washed up. Prior to the fight, the man told you out of his own mouth, this is the best he's ever felt in his whole career. He left home, went to camp, no injuries. He wasn't coming off an eye injury like, you know, a previous uh, defeat. Uh, he was on three fight winning streak. But I can't point out all to these fa all these facts to certain casual fans because it just go over y'all head and y'all just believe what y'all want to believe, you know. Everybody say he old. Man, the man 34, I'm 33. What I mean, I'm, I'm old too. <laughs> you know, everybody old in their eyes when a man lose. I don't get it, man. They just can't say I'm, I'm good, I'm great. You know what I mean? I, I train my ass off to get to where I am right now. I do my thing, you know. <laughs> so what's up, man? What y'all want to talk about? I ain't old yet. I ain't old yet. I don't feel old. I think Tyson, you know, I think they really did what they had to do in that fight, you know. Tyson really didn't go to the head. Roy really didn't throw any punches of that matter. Uh, I think it really wasn't like a sparring match in my eyes. So it was an exhibition, you know, what it, what it should have been. Neither one of them was really trying to hurt each other. Although Tyson threw a couple of hard body shots, but it wasn't nothing to make somebody feel like he was trying to really knock Roy out. Oh, I ain't slowing down no time soon, man. That's what they don't understand. I stay in the gym. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't put anything bad in my body. Uh, I don't have no bad habits. So if they waiting for me to slow down, they're going to be waiting for a long time. But like I said, you know, uh, I pick and choose when I want to do things and how I want to do it, no matter what anybody say or if they say, oh, well, you got a promoter and this and that and that and this. Uh, time and time again, I always told people, the promoters work for the fighters. Without the fighters, there's no promoters. There's nothing to promote. So once the fighters get that in their head and get that understood, then things will be better off for them. Whichever one comes next, it don't matter to me. Like like I said, I fight them as they come. I never was the the, the type of fighter to, fighter to shy away from a fight. You know, uh, I'm always running to the fight. You know, I'm always getting called off to box more. I'm never the, the type of person to be like, hey, don't stand in front of this guy. Uh, I'm like, let me see what he gonna do. Let me see what he about. Surrender is not defeat, child. You're resisting too. Why would I? Spence about to fight Saturday. How many Spence gonna fight? That don't even make sense. <laughs> see, that's what I be talking about. That's what I be talking about. I want that fight though. That's one fight that I really want. Spence and Pacquiao. Them the two fights that I really want. That I really be looking forward to. In the near future. I really want Spence. Just to show and shut everybody up. And see what they're going to say after that. Because I know it's going to be a lot of excuses. And, and bandwagon shipping. It's gonna be, it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be wild. Who I got out of the Spence and Denny fight? I actually, I actually got Spence. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't know. It's like more of, a, 
I don't know, man. It's it's gonna be good, cause I know I know Danny personally, and I didn't seen him since we was little kids, and he always rose to the occasion, each and every time. So it's hard to bet against him, you know. Uh, that's why I say it's a 50-50 fight. It was a, a 40-60 in Spence's favor, but the more and more I think with my head and and just think back to, to the Danny Garcia that I know when he motivated and when he felt like he's back against the wall and got something to prove, he always rose to the occasion. Uh, dating back to all the way when he was going overseas and down 10 points coming back to win, like Danny always was that type of person that never gave up no matter, you know, any circumstances. So, you know, it's hard to just say that Arrow going to come through and pull those and walk through them. But at the same time, we've seen a different side of Arrow that we ain't been seeing since before he was champion. And that's the hunger and the grit and the grind that he's been putting in the gym to uh, get back to the, the, the normal Arrow spin. So it should be a good fight. You know, I'm excited to see it uh made both of them you know leader went ring healthy and neither one of them get any serious injuries and made the best man win that's how i see it you know uh we all doing it for our family and our loved ones and to make a living and a lot of fans don't understand that they just be on the outside looking in like all the uh all the uh, memes of Nate Robinson, like everybody laughing at him and stuff like that. But it's funny, though, because them same people laughing is the same people that be on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, talking bad about fighters and talking about how they can't fight or what they should be doing or what they shouldn't be doing. But you can't tell somebody what they should be doing and what they should be doing and how they should do it if you ain't step foot in the ring. You know, it takes a, a lot of courage, balls, and and mental toughness just to step in the ring and fight another man in front of anybody or nobody at all, you know, let alone, you know, somebody that's way bigger than you. So that's been doing it longer than you. So I'll take my hat off to Nate Robinson. You know, um, they should start making all these people with the big mouse, the computer thugs, just pull them all out start letting them get a shot of, you know what I mean, some real boxers, since they be having so much stuff to say, arguing, saying what they would and wouldn't do. <laughs> now, that'll be the best thing going, the casual fans. I bet you they'll have a different different approach of, of boxers, MMA, any any type of physical sports, you know. It's, it's like football, basketball, whatever. You know, everybody always have an opinion or what they would have did if they was in that situation. But you wouldn't have did nothing. You know, like you get mad at Drew Brees for throwing an interception or Aaron Rodgers, but you can't even throw 40 yards. So, so how are you going to get mad at them? It's crazy nowadays. You know, everybody got an opinion of something that they really can't even do. You arguing with somebody of doing something that they've been doing their whole life that you can't do. So why is you worried about it? Man, I don't even know what Thurman got going on. He wanted he wanted to fight me for ten million dollars. That show he didn't even wanna fight. But everybody say I don't wanna fight nobody but Pacquiao and Thurman. I mean, Pacquiao and Arrow. I was trying to fight Thurman before the Kell Brook because he, he said he wanted that work. I told Tyrone and them, go get that fight. I'm the smallest I'm the smallest guy, though, at uh, welterweight, they say, you know. But I can't understand, you know, how this small guy just, you know, taking over. They can, they can say I'm not taking over, but everybody know it. Everybody know. 
when you fight Terrence Crawford, you know, uh, you got your hands full. It's just simple, you know. Mikey still fighting? I think Mikey want to go down to 140 and fight Tia Fimo. That'd be a good fight, too. That motherfucker, motherfucker Mikey can fight. Tia Fimo can fight, too. Mikey just went up to 47 and he was too small. You can't, you can't do that, man. Arms too short. You too short. You ain't never fought in that division before. Uh, it's a lot of skill levels. You know, see me, I'm different. You know, God bless me with a lot of, a lot of tools that I can utilize and you know capitalize or on different opponents. You know, but everybody ain't blessed like that. I don't know. I don't know if Lopez is smack Garcia. You know that at one forty that'd be a good fight. You know, Mikey got the got the power, he got the size, you know, he got the experience, but at the same time, you know, Tiafimo, he showed that, you know, he's one of the top guys in in his division. He is the the top guy in his division at one thirty five. So at one forty it's a different different ball game, you know. Uh you had to step up a little more, you know. You ain't fighting them little guys no more. You know, Lomachenko, he's small for that division. Mouse, you, you, you don't want to play no war zone. I left my game at home. I'm out here in the in the mountains. Bored. Nothing to do. So I'm on live talking to you. <laughs> uh, Mikey got good timing, though. His feet might be slow, but him and Danny Garcia got good timing. Good timing. Sean Porter a good fighter. You know what I mean? Sean Porter been fucking putting in work since shit. I can remember when he was fucking fighting Danny Jacobs and Sean Estrada, big ass. Yeah. Could I beat you in 2K? I don't even play 2K, but I be getting dubs when I do. And I don't even play it. I'm just natural. I just know how to play the game. Who next? I don't know. I don't know. We still, you know what I mean? Waiting to see. Next year should be a spectacular year. One step closer to becoming undisputed, hopefully. My honest opinion about Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is talented, man. A lot of people don't get... Uh, with his speed and his power, you know what I mean? He can, he can give anybody hell. Like, I think you need to sharpen up on, you know... A, his punching selection and his and his and his defense and shorten up his punches a little bit, but other than that, you know what I mean. He he good. He good. He showed that you know uh, he can he can box, but at the same time he up. Luke Campbell ain't no joke, so he in the real fight. You know this is gonna tell a lot about Ryan Garcia. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him and. And the top uh, guys in this division. I like Spence too. I ain't got no problem with none of them. You know what I mean? Shit. My thing is, when it come down to it, we in the same division. You know, uh, it's business. He think he's number one. I feel I'm number one. And that's where the friction uh, becomes a, a issue. You know, somebody got to be number one. We both can't be claiming to be the best in the division if we ain't fought each other. So that's where where I'll leave it at. I've been calling all of them out since I was at 140. 
You know, I come up to the 147 division and everybody say, get a belt. I get a belt. Then everybody having excuses. Then the fans run with it. Oh, he's on the other side of the street. I have never heard that ever in my life until now. You never hear that with nobody else. But Terrence Crawford. They made up a whole street, divided, <laughs> divided boxing with Terrence Crawford and everybody else. When did when 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 that ever happened? All they had to do is just say, We weren't gonna fight you because of certain situations, you know. But but the crazy part about it is correct me if I'm wrong. And a lot of y'all, y'all gonna see this, and a lot of y'all, y'all was y'all was blogging about this and y'all was talking about this. Would nobody mention Terrence Crawford's name? Until they start losing. That's when PBC and I and them and, and whoever they handle it. Oh, well, now y'all can go over there. But when people was champion, you would never, you ain't never, never heard them say, oh, let's unify with Terrence Crawford or let's fight Terrence Crawford. It was Terrence Crawford got to get a belt or what Terrence Crawford done in, in the welterweight division or or it was always something, or he's on the side of, other side of the street, or Bob Arum. It was always something. But now, like I said before, I already fought two PBC guys. And I think Amir Khan was managed by Al, Al Heyman or something of that nature. I don't want to say something that I don't know, but I think. But. Yeah, so if that what if that's true, that's three fighters, right? But the top guys when they was champions, when they had something to lose, it was no, don't say his name, no nothing. But now you see things is changing. You see things is changing now. You know you see Sean Porter say, "Oh man, me, me and Bud can fight." Now you see. Keith Thurman, oh, send a contract. Now you see who who else? You see, you starting to see a lot of a lot of young fighters coming up, but that's what they' supposed to do. You know, what I mean, they they looking at the top uh, guys in their division to get a title shot, and that's what we do it for. You know, you gotta call out the uh, top guys when you when you coming up. That's how you get your name out there, and that's how you get your opportunity. So I don't knock none of them, but. Let's be real, man. Spence only really fought one guy, Kel, Kel Brook. And Kel Brook only fought one guy. You know what I mean? And that was Sean Porter. And Danny Garcia only fought two guys. Well, really one. If you, I don't know, man. I'm different. I just look at, you know what I mean? Like, what have you done or what have they done that's so different than me? And they've been in this division longer than me. They fought each other. Okay. So they fought since they fought each other, that makes them. So if I beat Aegis, that makes him a top welterweight then. If I beat. But Jeff Horn was considered one of the biggest welterweights in the division. He never lost in the division. Tell me, then. Um. Yeah. So everybody that I fought should be in the top six, seven. I'm just throwing it out there because I guess if they fight each other, then all of them considered in the top. Whatever, they top welterweights because they get to fight each other. But what about the person that lose? He still ranked high. I don't get it. Somebody got to help me get it. Cause every fight that I didn't fought, except the Khan fight, everybody was just like, "Man, you gonna white wash Khan?" But every fight that I didn't fought in a welterweight division. Everybody was like, man, you're going to lose. You're too small. I don't know. Some people, there's a lot of people that, you know what I mean, thought I was going to win. But 
high when that's when they say, oh, well, this guy's a bum. This guy is this. This guy is that. Terrence Crawford ain't fought nobody. I, I ain't fought nobody. Dang. Everybody I fight, they, they say something bad about them after I fight them. Gamboa was too small. How was Gamboa too small when he just won a title uh, it, prior to fighting me? Derry John was too small. I went up and wait and, and fought him. And he just fought Lamont Peterson that everybody praised when somebody beat Lamont Peterson. Uh, good fighter, though. But, you know, people used him as a, as you know what I mean? Beat Lamont Peterson, you you the shit. But I don't. I don't worry about it. I just laugh because I just be having to remind y'all what y'all be saying that don't make sense to me. Like Victor Postal, how y'all talk way down on Victor Postal, like a lot of y'all writers. But prior to that, he made Danny Garcia pay him step aside money and move up and wait because he didn't want to fight him. Damn. Y'all forgot about that. Damn, what I do to him. Then y'all get mad and say, oh, he just one dimension and this and that, that. But then he fight Josh Taylor and Ramirez. And them fights was closer than the motherfucker. I honestly think him and Ramirez could have went either way. Or it was a draw because he was popping Ramirez with that fucking jab in right hand. But. I ain't gonna get I ain't gonna get no credit till I'm done with boxing. For real. I'm telling you, all these fighters that I ain't fought, when I didn't fought them, they wasn't no bums. I was just on a better le level than them. Everybody bums in everybody eyes. Guys good fighters. You know what I mean? It's just, you know. Sometimes, you know, you'll look at a fighter and you'll be like, man, that dude can fight. He really can fight. Then when he fight another fighter that really, really can fight, you'd be like, fuck. Man, he was weak. He won all that. But in reality, you just got to get that dude that he fought some credit because he was just the better man that night. You know what I mean? It's kind of like Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman. Both of them motherfuckers can fight. You know what I mean? But one got to win, one got to lose. But you can't say the next motherfucker's a bum because he lost. Put up a good fight. Shit, look look at Sean Porter and Errol Spence. Nobody gave Sean Porter credit. But when I kept telling everybody it's a 50-50 fight, people was like, all right, Errol Spence going to knock Sean Porter out. And this, nah, nah, nah. All right. Fight come down to everybody. Sean Porter, Sean Porter. See how quick they switch up? What? I don't know. I'm bored, y'all. I'm gonna watch some movies or something. The the Red Bull. We shall see. <laughs> ah. Some people's styles is ugly, but they get the job done. Caleb, hey, Caleb can fight too. Caleb can fight. Benavidez can fight. Uh, Steven Nelson. You know I got to put my bro in there. Uh, yeah, man, they, they can fight, man. I want to see Caleb Plant fight Benavidez, though. That's going to be a good fight. That's going to be a good fight. I really want to see this. Hey, no cap. Benavidez against Canelo. I'm calling it right now. That's going to be one of the, the top fights if they ever fight. Tell him. Benavidez is fast. He can punch. He's strong. 
and he's durable. And I don't think Canelo gonna be able to just do what he want with him. Shakur, of course he the truth. That's my little brother. I'm going out. I'm actually going out there tomorrow. Check on him. You know, I keep my young fella. You know, sharp. He always sharp though. That's one dude that 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 that's a student of the game. That's you know, he's gonna be the next pound for pound fighter and the best fighter in the world. Watch. I keep saying it. I keep saying it. But he is though. Ain't nobody messing with him. Tia Fimo not messing with him. Uh, Devin, that's my boy. Him and Devin going. If they ever fight, they gonna have a chess match. Um, I don't think Tank messing with him. Uh, Gary Russell Jr. ain't messing with him. Uh, who else down there? Who else? Who else down there? I don't know. I don't know. Jake Paul McGregor. I got McGregor. I got McGregor. Hey, I'm done, y'all. I bear witness there's only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his final messenger. That's why I said, Larry, on the Bungu fight, thanking you. They call me the problem, but you could call me the can man, because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it.